Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for December 5th, 2023. Well, let's see. What had happened overnight? Well, doggone it, we had Moody's downgrading China's credit. That created some major tension over there in um, Asian markets, uh, already suffering Asian markets. And we had a pretty substantial decline uh, across the board in Asia. Um, as a matter of fact, uh, Shanghai fell below 3,000 point points. That's been kind of a critical area for that chart. Um, the Hong Kong exchange dropped uh, 1.91% um, last night, which is the real tech heavy sector of their exchange. Um, what's interesting this morning, however, is European markets are mostly in the green. Only the FTSE is just ever so slightly lower here this morning. There's some news um, that Ericsson is up 9% on an AT&T AT deal as Nokia over there losing, losing contracts uh, drops substantially. And then, of course, if we take a look at oil this morning, oil is actually holding into the positive um, at the moment. We're kind of shaking off the um, OPEC cut, so we've got oil just slightly higher this morning. Here in the U.S., we have futures looking a little bit lower across the board with uh, one of the biggest losses in the futures right now coming into the NASDAQ. And if we take a look at our bonds this morning, interestingly enough, our bonds are holding in there fine. They're not making any adjustment to this downgrade in China and all of the debt and banking issues that are starting to creep up there. We're still able to um, relatively ignore that in the bond market with the two year at 4.63% and the 10 year is at 4.24% obviously we still have an inversion there on bonds um, that we'll want to be paying attention to so what does all this mean for today well how about we settle in let's buckle up let's get ready for the Tuesday edition of the morning market prep video Good morning once again, everyone, and thank you so much for being here. I do very much appreciate it. Let's take a look at these charts and see if we can gain some information about how we may want to approach the market for today. Now, what you can see is I had some time last night. Uh, I was able, uh, I just took the time to redraw these charts up here just a little bit and uh, take a look at what we've got going on in here. First off, um, obviously, this is our upside trend. It is extremely parabolic, and as you can see, it's very much straight up in the chart. And there is a level right through here that I thought um, would be interesting to maybe highlight. And actually, I'm gonna have to change that thought. It's probably right in about here where we ran this trend to the upside and we have um, uh, actually broken through that trend here to the upside as well. So this creates a, a nice level of price support back down in here if we can um, if we start to pull back here in the market so let's take a look above you can see we're starting to work in this area to attack all-time highs here in the diamonds remember the dow is the easiest market to move we really only need to move microsoft and apple to get a pretty substantial move in the dow um, being the fact that they are so heavily weighted in the Dow. But looking across here, you can see we've got a little resistance right in here and then the all-time highs coming in the chart. So where we are right now, as you can see, if the bulls can continue to find inspiration to the upside, then that push right up in here does look possible. And then, of course, breaking through there means that we could be heading into those all-time highs. And with the corporate buyback, backs being so strong right now that certainly is a possibility that that could occur despite the fact that we have some major um, internal problems in our market to be paying attention to if the bears however 
find that inspiration today and they have a little bit of energy this morning then let's look for some pushback to some support levels here in the chart you can see i've got this uh, support level actually i need to adjust that just a tiny bit lower it looks like probably right in there if the bears were to push back um, in the chart then i would look for this next level down in here to be tested and of course that little upside trend to see whether that holds now that's so steep i don't expect that to hold much support and just keeping in mind that we really we zoomed up so much here in the market we really don't have any great price support until we come down into here so uh, just keeping in mind if we kind of keep pushing and we start breaking down through the, some of these big candles we could start that little bit of a panic here and a race for uh, the door to protect profits so watch that if we take a look at our moving averages here real quick notice that our 50-day moving averages started to turn up our short-term moving averages are racing up to try and catch up to this parabolic move in the market but just keeping in mind our major moving averages are so much lower here in the diamonds we're so far extended away from them if the bears were to really get active um, that could be a painful pullback and if that doesn't occur then what one of the things we often see here's a big zoom up in the market and we ended up after getting up here then we just try to consolidate it for a long period of time here's a big zoom up this is the full-on collapse that occurred after that zoom up so remember both of those are possibilities here in the market let's take a look at our spy now SPY struggled just a little bit yesterday we rallied up and once again we tested this trend line right here you notice that I drawn this trend line across here and picked up as many of these points or whoops and then I just moved it picked up as many of these points as I could across here in that chart and that's actually providing some additional resistance um, that we see here um, in the market now I'm going to grab this one and pull it down and you can see we've kind of added that double whammy here of resistance in the chart now this upside trend I think we've got to look at this as we're kind of slipping beyond this trend in here um, in the chart we just zoomed up so much the good news is that we're resting in a uh, potential consolidation zone here in the market so again if the bulls can find that inspiration then I'm gonna look for a test up in here see if we can push up into that area of the chart and see if we can possibly break through that area up there if the um, bulls can push right on through there then I'm going to be taking a look at that level right there as the next resistance level above. If the bears were to find inspiration here today, um, I'm going to suggest that we maybe retest this area of price support. We've been pretty solid in hanging in here on the SPY. Drop down through here though, and that could really change some things. We could push down into some levels here in the chart that could be just a little bit on the uncomfortable side, particularly with some of these big open holes that are left behind here in the market. <clears throat> If we take a look at our um, QQQ, our QQQ here um, pushed back yesterday and we tested this support level underneath here yesterday pretty hard. Um, broke it just temporarily and then bounced off of it leaving a hammer now remember a hammer pattern requires that there is a follow-through we have to have a follow-through to the upside for that to be a valid hammer and what we're seeing right now in the pre-market is a little bit of concern um, that pullback with uh, that downgrade over there in China and Hong Kong selling off so strongly we run that possibility if the bears were to find inspiration here that push down into this gap and that possible gap fill could be on the way that would put our next support level right in here on that chart if we were to drop on through if the bulls find that inspiration here and we hold off of the support level and start pushing up first off I want to see us break the top of that hammer pattern yesterday and breaking through that little bit of resistance that you can see here in the chart um, have us break back up through there and then we have that opportunity we could stretch on up and test that resistance high um, here in the market I'm going to 
and take that just a little bit higher. So keep a close eye on that. Now, if we take a look at our IWM, IWM also changed up the drawings here in the chart. And um, it, it may be uh, valid. I'm going to get rid of this line. It may be valid that I need to draw another trend right in here to the upside so keep an eye on that we we went off of this trend kind of early and broke through this resistance we did it with an awful lot of energy in the chart so where's the next upside resistance here well if i pull this line back down you can see us right here we're right here at that price resistance that runs across this area now it may be a bit of a range between here and here so I moved that up right into the top side of that because we tried yesterday to really break through that area um, in the chart. So let's look for that little resistance up here if those um, bulls can continue to find that upside potential in the chart. And then breaking through there, we're probably stretching up into this level. One thing that you can see in the chart, I've, I've drawn this line across here there is a little bit of a downtrend. It's a pretty flat downtrend, but there's a little bit of a downtrend up there that we'll wanna be paying attention to as we move up into um, these resistance levels of the chart. Now, one good thing here on the moving averages, we did break back through the 500 day moving average here, and we're seeing our shorter term averages cross up through our 50. Our 50 is starting to turn, but let's keep in mind our 50 day moving average, 200 day moving average, and 500 day moving averages are still on the wrong side of each other um, not a not an overall good sign for us we're going to run into some problems as a result of that here eventually um, let's take a look at our VIX our VIX uh, saw a little bit of fear come in yesterday we popped back up in around that 13 and a half handle we ended up settling back down to around 13 handles on the day as we saw that rally back yesterday this morning we're feeling a little bit of bearish pressure we could potentially see that push back higher here but once again really nothing in here to be particularly worried about unless we um, break this downtrend here we can see we've kind of slid out from under here but we need some kind of a higher low in here before I'm going to have much confidence that the bears are taking over um, in the market. And we may not see that for another week or so, um, just simply because of the corporate buyback windows. And they are pounding as much corporate buyback as they can to continue to hold this market as long as they can and draw in as much money as they can. They really, I think, want to break um, to um, uh, new highs um, um, in some of these indexes so that they can continue to draw additional capital into the market. Let's take a look at our T2122. Now our T2122, pretty darn remarkable. Uh, T2122 finished the day at 97.1. Um, yesterday we were at 99 so we um, you got to think about even with that selling that we saw yesterday in the market the rally back at the end of the day put us almost at the same place we're just hovering up here um, no sellers in the market the bears have no energy whatsoever to do anything yet at the same time we are running out of space for buyers and we're running out of those buyers except for the corporate buyback i think everyone knows we're due for a pullback and we're seeing a lot of caution here in the market picking up so watch that carefully here we don't have a whole lot of space and with that selling here this morning i would expect we're going to see a little bit of a pushback here in t2122 but that being said if the bulls find inspiration in some of the data then there's that possible we could pop up. We've got three whole percentage points that we uh, could potentially move here in our T2122. To the downside, obviously, that is a very different situation. If the bears really get going, they could get going in a big way all at once. So watch carefully. That pullback could begin at any time, and you could see folks kind of running for the door to protect their capital, protect their profits if we start to sell off and it could cascade rather quickly because this has been <coughs> excuse me i uh, apologize such an extended upside run 
let's take a look at our T2108. Our T2108 continuing to show strength in here, but notice yesterday, essentially flat. We tried to run up here. We're continuing to push to see if we can make it up here into this 75 range, which is that very, very frothy area of T2108. And typically the place, um, if we can stretch up there where we run into sellers and things turn into a little bit of a problematic uh, pullback for the market. Um, but not to worry if that does occur, we've got support levels underneath here that could easily catch us in that chart. So watch that carefully. And our T2107 also showing us no bears here just yet, just a really big extension in the chart. We were flat yesterday, not much happened here overall. Um, we have resistance above to be paying attention to if we can find that bullish inspiration push on up into um, this area of the chart. If we find bearish inspiration, we've created support levels in this chart as well. As at, at this point in time, T2108, T2107 show no signs of bear activity just yet. T2101 um, showed a increase in breadth. Now, I'm not really sure. This is a tough one to read because I'm not really sure we ended up finishing the day down. So is this an increase of bearish breadth? Well, um, it's hard to say with that afternoon rally that came in. Perhaps this is a little bit of that bullish breadth still coming here into the market. We'll want to watch this today and see what the follow through is. If we see this breadth um, expand on a sell wave today, that would be maybe telling that the bears could be starting to exercise um, a little bit of their rights here in the market and um, looking for a little bit of a pushback. We'll see. I can't say that that's the case just yet. Um, I would watch some of these areas in here. We've rallied up into a little bit of that trend resistance. We've got some resistance across the chart here to be paying attention to as we try to push back up. Breath might be a little bit of a problem if all we're seeing is corporate buybacks. Then let's take a look at our um, earnings calendar here for today. Our earnings calendar, well, we've got a few things on that list to be paying attention to, and you'll want to make sure and um, um, click the link just below the title of the video. That'll take you back to the morning blog where you can get the full list of notables here today. Some of the most notable, um, probably going to be like AZO. Looks like AZO, at least here in the pre-market, looking a little bit um, like it's going to follow that downtrend. We've got some support here in the chart. Keep an eye on AutoZone here this morning. We've also got CarMart. CarMart will be reporting today. Nothing, nothing going on here in the pre-market on this just yet. Notice it's been making this nice bottom, trying to break this downtrend in the chart, trying to find a new level of price support. Could be a good sign if that reports well today. Uh, keep a close eye on that. We've got Box here today that will be reporting. Box is holding a nice little bullish pattern in the chart. Every reason to believe that could move on higher. We've got Dave and Buster's in here. Now this has been shooting up toward um, earnings reports, coming into a little bit of resistance and feeling a little bit of pullback here yesterday. But who knows, that report could either push us right on through these resistance levels or really disappoint here, pulling that back. We're gonna hear from Signet Jewelers today. Signet could be interesting. It's broken through this resistance heading into earnings, trying to hold up here above these highs. Watch that one close. And then Toll Brothers will be an interesting one today as well. Pushing up through this resistance and holding in that support area, whether that continues to hold this upside move or if we stumble here um, after that earnings report comes out, 
that will be something you'll want to pay attention to. Um, remember the full list of notables, there's a few, several more in there that you'll want to be paying attention to. Just click that link below the title of the video, that'll take you back to the morning blog. Let's take a look at a few stocks that could be setting up here for today. But before we do that, guys, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video and if you find these videos to be useful or helpful if you could do me that favor and that would be click that thumbs up button leave a brief comment that helps the channel to continue to grow I do truly truly appreciate that thank you so much um, never would have expected 30,700 subscribers um, would view content like this where there's no predicting, no, no grand drama of trying to say this is going to happen or that's going to happen in the market. So thank you so much for supporting this kind of content. I truly appreciate it. Let's take a look at um, some stock setting up. Remember, these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security. You've got to do your own due diligence. Be very, very careful here in the market. Make sure that you understand the risk of this market and the potential of a pullback that could happen at any time. I know right now it, it's really easy to just only be focused on buying long but just think about that carefully. Now here in Oracle, I actually placed a price alert on Oracle yesterday, right in here on that chart. Nice little um, rally into um, some resistance. We broke that resistance, we're holding it here. We've proved it a couple of times on this pullback. Today could be a real test here whether or not this support's going to hold with um, that tech selling that we're seeing here in the pre-market. If that gives this up, of course, this would fall off of my list for that potential long. And as a matter of fact, break through a support, rally back to resistance, and then I'm looking at taking you short um, in that. So keep a close eye on um, Oracle. You might wanna be keeping an eye on these utilities. I continue to talk about these utilities and utilities continuing to hold in here now. I get it, I get comments from folks, and I understand. Utilities are boring. They are very boring. They're not the kind of chart that you just um, want to trade all the time. But at the same time, sometimes boring can be very, very profitable. It's a little bit slower price action um, in here, but boring can be very, very profitable over time so keep an eye on xlu looking pretty good in here holding up nicely here's another area of boring uh, charts and i have a bias in here i'm actually in at t making some nice money on this um, keep a close eye on this at t old boring dividend payer looking very, very bullish here at the moment. Every reason to believe at this point in time it could continue, but it may need a little bit of consolidation or rest here in the market. Take a look at Verizon. Verizon is another just racing to the upside here. Old, boring dividend payers showing lots of bullishness here. Any rest or pullback could set up opportunities there. Take a look at Kohl's. Kohl's had a really strong day yesterday, popping back up into this resistance in the chart. Now I would look for that chance. This, to me, this trade has way too much risk in it right now. If I have to buy it here, my stop has to go under here where we found the last buy support. Well, that's just more risk than I wanna take in this chart. However, if this were to consolidate sideways here now, just kind of rest over here toward the trend and then show me that pop. I can get an entry in there that would be relatively low risk and we might start breaking through on some of these retail stocks um, to the upside. So keep an eye on that. Take a look at um, um, Texas Instruments here. Texas Instruments, really nice chart. There's that same pattern where we rally up, hold on to some support, place a price alert right in there, you catch that entry into the trade. And even though we're getting this tech pullback here this morning, that might provide another opportunity in this trade. We might just rest this now back a little bit into this trend and then look for that next opportunity to the upside on TXN. Take a look at stocks like CCJ. These things, um, uranium continues to play out very, very well. 
um, were were talking over in the uh, in the COP28, um, you know, about how we're going to shut down all of our natural gas and and coal producing power. Um, which means if we're going to if we're going to put everybody in an EV, we need to start building um, a lot of uranium plants, a lot of nuclear facilities all over the United States. And I mean everywhere if we're going to supply enough power to do what they're um, suggesting. So keep an eye on this. Um, CCJ, UUUU, URA, um, UEC. All of those are showing nice bullish potential and continue to rally here in the market. So watch those closely. Um, let's take a look, um, FCX. FCX really surged out here for a period of time and then we see the dollar strengthening again and guess what? It starts coming back. So watch that carefully in here. I'm gonna run that trend right through here and if we find some price support in this area of the chart, we could hold in this area and start moving back up. If, if the dollar continues to strengthen back up, we could fall and fail in this area. And, and maybe this breaks the trend and kind of disappoints. But keep a close eye on that. There is some possibilities um, worth paying attention to in there. SKLZ. SKLZ I've talked about multiple times holding in here on this nice pattern a um, little choppy right in here after breaking through but we just came back to this trend found it bounced up here so as long as this can hold in here we might see that resume back to the upside and I think it would be wise to keep an eye on um, with Toll Brothers reporting today and there is just uh, it, it, it's interesting to me that uh, we've got consumers slowing down, but there's a uber confidence that housing is going to just continue to race to the upside. So keep an eye on this. Lowe's had two really good days of move here, maybe coming into some price resistance soon, but watch that carefully breaking back through that resistance. Any kind of rest consolidation back into here would set up that next opportunity in Lowe's. And I think you also have to put Home Depot on that list. Home Depot really stretching here. And I would say coming into a fairly substantial area of price resistance, I would watch that close and probably suggest that this might need a little bit more rest or pullback. But you never know with um, some of these um, home builders, if they come out with really strong earnings, there's no reason to believe that couldn't um, break on through and move on higher. So watch some of those building suppliers here in the market looking pretty good overall. So with that, everyone, running this video just a little bit long, I want to say thank you so much to everyone. Be very, very careful today and watch for that potential um, where the bears could get a little bit angry. But also watch for that possibility that we hold solid in here with the corporate buybacks that are just really at amazing levels right now as they're buying back their own stock. Um, so just keep a close eye on that as we head in toward that blackout period for those. I want to wish you all the very best. Thank you so much for listening. And I'll see you right back here bright and early Tuesday morning. And as always, I wish you all the very, very best in your trading today. Take care, everyone.